Hey guys, so I thought I'd just do a video here. Uh, I have been doing a video on all of my Samsung phones and a lot of people seem to enjoy that video so I thought why not also do a video on all my uh, Apple phones and uh, all my Apple phones here is iPhones, of course. Uh, so I started to do phone videos 2011 so I don't have the uh, Apple uh, iPhones from 2007 when the first iPhone came out so I don't have any 2007, 2008, 2009, 2000 or yeah I have 2010 but I don't have 2007 and uh, 2008 and 2009 so three years of iPhones that I don't have because I didn't do phone videos back then I actually went to school so uh, how many phones do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 so 14 iPhones so not that many compared to what it could have been. So if you start off here up at the top I have uh, first I have two, two um, iPhone 4s uh, that came 2000 and, uh, 2010 which was one of these first uh, I remember doing a video on it on my channel 2010 I mean they, they were really really cool looking with the new design it was a really big design change and um, they work still 2015 here, kind of. Um, you do have the, the iPhone 4S, which came out 2011. And these were really nice, uh, 1387 model number here on the back, uh, down here. And uh, these were nice because it had double the speed. It had an extra core, so it wasn't single core anymore. It was dual core, like I think 800 megahertz. Uh, it was nice. It was really really nice. And then we got uh, then I have this line here of um, first two iPhone 5s, a 5C and two 5S. And you can see 5S with this uh, little touch ID here, uh, which is nice. Uh, so these were also pretty nice. Came out 2012, little bigger uh, screen size, uh, four inch screen size. I'm pretty sure it is, and uh, yeah, they keep the uh, same kind of design here. It is definitely faster. Uh, I think it's like three times faster compared to the 4S. I mean, three times speed boost in the benchmark uh, tests and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Uh, you had the plastic 5C here, which I think came 2013, maybe. I don't know, maybe. I'm pretty sure. Or it came 2014. I think it came 2013. But there's so many phones. So many phones coming out every year. Uh, but this one had a plastic back. And uh, same kind of internal stuff as uh, an iPhone 5. But uh, yeah, plastic. And then we do have two phones that I still use today. Uh, the 5S uses my uh, Spotify player. I really enjoy the screen size of these phones, that's why I still use it. I might buy the new iPod Touch, which has, uh, I think it also has the same screen size as the uh, earlier iPod Touch, and, but it's nice, but it has a speed boost. Uh, so I started to stop to use my, my white 5S here because it started to have problems with the volume up and down key, uh, volume up key, because sometimes it is not responding. And that was weird, so I now use this one as my iPod. And then down here we do have these uh, new 4.7 inch uh, iPhone that came 2014. Uh, I bought two of them. And let's see which one is this. Yes, this is uh, first the iPhone 6 uh, 4.7 inch display. This, was, this one was a little bit boring, I find. Uh, Apple just keep every year. Uh, they really, I think they could have done something more interesting. Mm, yeah, and then we do have another, another iPhone six. Bigger screen, a little bit faster, but not that much faster compared to the five S. Uh, but then we got a real nice thing here inside of the new six uh, S. So you can see the S here on the back. 
and this one had uh, this screen where you can push in on the display and that was a little bit nice as you can see here if you have Facebook you can just push in here and do cool stuff uh, it also works on the Instagram app you can also preview stuff by pushing in on the display so that is really really cool and then we do have I think this is see this is just the standard uh, standard 5.5 inch iPhone 6 plus that came last year these were kind of easy to bend uh, because they had a weaker aluminum compared to the new iPhone 6s so this one over here is the 6s plus which also has this new kind of display where you can oh wait a sec isn't this yes this is the S should be able to hold in here yes there we go so it also has this display you can hold in on so that's pretty cool and a stronger aluminum uh, but yeah I think Apple really has to do something interesting especially with the iPhone 7 or something uh, because it gets, it's starting to get a little bit boring I find I mean sure they make some small updates but if they want to keep up with other companies it kind of feels like they should do something fun in the future but yeah quickly a video on my collection hopefully enjoyed and um, have an awesome day peace